Hey, what's up guys? This is Tomer, the co-founder of the Digital Reach Platform. And today I'm gonna talk to you about one of my favorite content curation tools out there called Snipply. And uh, it's Snippy, Snipply says it's the future of content marketing. I really think it is because it, it does an excellent job. So I'm sure you guys are aware of like what Bitly is, right? So it's a URL shortener that you know that tracks the clicks, right, and the you know other analytics. Snipply is very similar to that. It uh, tracks it. Don't get me wrong. Uh, you know, and insures it like Bitly. However, the main difference between the two is that Snipply can actually add your own call to action to other people's landing pages, which is amazing, especially if you're doing content curation, right? And you know that that can be going on uh, talked about in another video about content curation and you know the importance of it, especially if you don't maybe have the resources, marketing tools. Um, you know, time, uh, you know, whatever, whatever, you know, it might end up being. So Snipply though can definitely assist you with that. So what you first want to go to is type up Snipply in Google. So it'd be actually uh, S N I P period L Y. And you click on this, right? And you can see right here, you know, you have the sign up, Snipply pricing tips, tips and tricks, features, social media conversion. But when you click on this, right, uh, it'll take you to this page right here. So uh, Snipply uh, has a free version. They have paid versions. Uh, we use the free version because I think it does an excellent job. You can always upgrade. Uh, right now, since I'm logged in, it's you know I, I'm I'm fine right here. You know I'm not gonna redo it. However, it's like I said, it's pretty simple to set up an account. Right? You can, uh, if I'm correct, it's either you can set up the account through Twitter, I believe, or Google or Facebook. I I would have to look back on that one, but it's either or, or you can just do it you know, naturally via just your uh, email, right? So you set up an email password, all that stuff. So uh, it's really cool, right? So I'm going to take you to our dashboard here. Uh, I have, you know, nothing really to hide, you know, and, and you, by the way, you have limited. So this is perfect, like I said, for a small business, right? Especially the free version. And it has, when you start paying for later on, it has integration. So you can integrate with Hootsuite, which would be great. Uh, Buffer, Facebook, Twitter, upgrade your plan, you know, so right now I get about a thousand clicks a month, right? Uh, that's what you can pay for. You can also, by the way, install as a Chrome extension. Um, and you can see right here. So this is just a quick overview showing the past 30 days. And we're going to show, I'm going to show you exactly how to use Snipply. So right here, you know, you see three snips. So total number of snips you've created. That's what they call it, right? The, the shortened links, 31 clicks, zero conversion, zero conversion, zero percent conversion rate. Uh, and you can see right here, right? So here are my call to actions right here. So you said looking for digital marketing help, happy to help, contact us, right? So six snips, 38 clicks, one conversion. So it takes you to the contact, my our contact us page. So when somebody go, gets to that page, converts, that's where the conversion comes from. And you can do a quick snip, looking for social media uh, help, happy to help, contact us, and you know, so forth, so forth, right? And you can see the amount of clicks. In fact, actually, if you click on one of them, It'll take you to the, you know, the you can manage your call to action. Again, you can see by the way, the you know the the clicks that are currently, or sorry, the the URLs that are currently being shortened, right? So right here, you can see the links that I had. So here you go, here you go, here you go. Uh, clicks. So you can actually see kind of a, a small overview of how everything performed. Conversion, like I said, conversion rate. Uh, you know, it, it wasn't sent, you know, via email submission. So the <laughs> so that's not going to pop up for this. Um, and when you have the paid version, you can do A-B testing. You know, you can uh, archive some of the links. Um, and you, so here's the brand profile aspect of it, right? So you can go, when you click on brand profile, because there's multiple aspects to this, right? So you want to set up your actual brand. Uh, for us, since we're the digital reach platform, we actually set it up as the digital reach platform. And in Snipply, you get one brand. And if you want more to your brand, right, uh, you obviously want to pay for more. But with the free version, you get one brand. And you can see here by the 21, 23 snips, 172 clicks, three conversions. And if you go to settings, you can play around with it. But let's let's show you exactly how to create a snip. It's so simple. Uh, so I'm going to take a link. Here we go. I'm going to take a link. What I'm going to do is I enter it here. Enter the URL. Create snip. So what it's going to do... It's uh, currently trying to create a shortened link. It's taking me to the link creator page. This is where you know you can uh, you're going to be able to add your call to action, and it's perfect, right? So, 
So here, here's something to keep in mind too. When it's green like this, that means it's good to go. There's some times where you might add a link and uh, it might be red or, I mean, it, the link would still be shortened, but it wouldn't have the call to action right here. So this is just kind of a quick overview exactly of how that would look, right? So you see the landing page right here. If I didn't do anything, this is how it would look, right? So you're looking for digital marketing help, happy to help, this takes you to the contact us page. And it, it's, it's pretty simple to add your own call to action, right? I can add a new call to action uh, right here. And I'll just quickly just show you exactly how that would how that would look. So it would take you actually to another page. And what I would do here is you can see, you know, it's gonna, here are the steps, you know, brand, type, call to action, customization. Since I have the one brand, I'm gonna have to click brand. Uh, do I want a text link? Do I want a button? Uh, so, you know, it's going to show, this is the button part. Um, you know, it, when you pay, you know, you can have the form, you can have hide, add, hidden, um, you know, but look, we're going to do button, right? I mean, that's, that's what I would like to do. My message is going to be um, looking to improve your social media marketing. Then I'm going to put contact us. For the button text there we go then my button uh, URL would just be um, www.digitalreachplatform.com slash contact there we go right so that's all you have to do uh, looking to improve your social media marketing contact us here we go all you do is click continue and then you can actually, so once again, if you had the paid version, you can actually play around with the color scheme, right? Uh, you can actually change the theme though. So that part's cool, right? So you can see uh, right here, when I went back to social, this is exactly how it would look. It kind of looks like a uh, thought bubble. Uh, here's the full width. So it takes up the full bottom of the screen, which actually might be even more ideal, right? Uh, here's the candy. It's a little right there. Then here's bean. This is so. This is this is exactly how it look. This one I kind of want to do the full width on the bottom, right? So I want people to contact me afterwards, uh, and all I have to do next is just click finished, CTA, and there you go, right? So here's my snip. That's all I have to do, right? That's my snipply right there, um, and here I'll, I'll even give you a quick, sh you know, I'll show it, you know, show you how to, how it's done. So right there, just copy and paste it to the URL. It takes you to this page right here, and there you go. See, you can see you can see my call to action right here on the bottom, uh, and you can see the little X right there if you want to exit out. You can see looking to improve your social media marketing. Then, if you actually do click that, and it takes you right here to the con my contact page, and that's all you have to do to use Snipply. It's super basic, um, and I'll just let's just go back to this again, right? So when we go back to the call to action center, um, let's 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 redo that. Let's do it with. Um, the same link, maybe we'll use the same link in this case. I'm gonna create the snip, right? And obviously when you have all these brands in here, or all of your uh, call to actions in there, it actually becomes much simpler. So you click create snip. Yeah, so right here, right? So I said look to improve your social media marketing. I can change it around. And all you would legit have to do from there, I mean you can play around with the message. All you would do is press snip and it would take you to the same exact thing. So I'm just gonna do the same thing just to show you guys uh, I'll just say that looking looking for help on your Facebook ads. There you go. Let's just do snip. Yeah, and that's that's basically it. The copy it, we can share it, and that's how you use Snipply. So if you definitely want to improve your uh, content curation, uh, you know, add that to your strategy, I definitely recommend using Snipply. It's an excellent tool. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, you know, if you have any comments or questions, please leave it in the comment section below. Uh, and if you liked our video, please, not if you liked our video, if you uh, want to see more of these videos, please subscribe to our channel. Uh, we're going to be doing definitely more, uh, showing off more digital marketing tool, tools, how-to videos, um, and etc. 